Hey Ospreys, I'm Brandon Thigpen, here for your North Florida Minute. The swim team had their CCSA championships this weekend, and several other UNF teams prepare for their conference championships beginning this March. I've got all that and more in this week's recap. First, the swim team was in Athens, Georgia for the CCSA championships. UNF placed 8th overall out of 11 teams with 324 points. The Ospreys finished with 118 more points than last year's championships. Coming back home with their two wins this weekend over Lipscomb and Northern Kentucky, the men's basketball team has clinched at least a two seed in the A-Sun Championship and a home game in the tournament for the first time in school history. Find out how you can get tickets in this week's video's description. Now we look to women's basketball on the road. On Thursday, the Ospreys were in Nashville taking on Lipscomb. A strong second half defense propelled the Ospreys to break their six game losing streak. They topped Lipscomb 57 to 54. When they faced Northern Kentucky Saturday night, the Norse outshot and out-rebounded UNF. The final box score, 29 to 67. The Ospreys are 11 and 16 overall and two and 10 in conference standings. We travel to Pensacola now where the baseball team played in the Diamond Invitational. On Friday, the Ospreys fell to Nichols State 3-4 but came back against Southern Miss later that day to win 3-2. On Saturday, UNF fell to Troy 1-2 in another game decided by just a single point. The Ospreys closed the weekend with a win over St. Louis 8-6. With that, UNF stands at an even 4-4 overall record. Now we head south where we find the softball team at the Florida Atlantic Invitational. The Ospreys started Friday with a win over Albany 10-2, but wins didn't follow them into the afternoon. The UNF fell to Florida A&M 2-3. On Saturday, the Ospreys were shut out by Princeton 6-zip. The Ospreys had a rough afternoon and fell to host Florida Atlantic 4-8. But UNF came back on Sunday, defeating Princeton 3-zip. The softball team stands at a 10-5 overall record this season. Now let's take a look at next week's action. This Monday and Tuesday, women's golf takes to the green at the Amelia Island Collegiate, hosted by Jacksonville. Now we turn to men's basketball. On Wednesday, the Ospreys head south, taking on Florida Gulf Coast in a matchup that could decide the A-Sun regular season champion, starting at 7 p.m. Then on Saturday, the Ospreys make a final home stand as they take on Stetson at 7 p.m. These are the final regular season games before the A-Sun championships starting on March 3rd. Women's basketball also has two regular season games left. On Wednesday, they host Florida Gulf Coast at 7 p.m. Then on Saturday, they travel to the land, taking on Stetson at 1. Men's Golf hosts their first tournament of the season this weekend. They host The Hate at Sawgrass Country Club starting this Thursday. Women's tennis should also see action this week, despite having a road game canceled against South Carolina this past Saturday. Anticipated cold weather was the cause of the delay. But this Saturday, the Ospreys heads to Statesboro, Georgia, to take on Georgia Southern. The indoor track and field teams also hit the road for the A-Sun Championships in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Competition spans all of Saturday and Sunday. Baseball has a packed schedule this week. Wednesday, they host Georgia Southern at 6 p.m. Then the Ospreys hit the road for Charleston, South Carolina this weekend. They face St. John's University Friday and again on Saturday. They also face Charleston Southern twice, once on Saturday, then again on Sunday. We finish the preview with softball at home hosting their second home tournament. The Ospreys face Siena and South Dakota on Friday, then Kansas and Stony Brook on Saturday before facing Stony Brook again on Sunday. I'm Brandon Thigpen for North Florida Sports Zone.